Hi guys! Okay, I know I look super crazy right now, but you guys are about to look just as crazy because I'm going to be showing you how to make this powerful skin brightening mask. This can be for any kind of ethnicity, any type of skin color. It's going to severely brighten your skin. If you guys look back at my old videos, you'll see what a difference it made. So I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make the mask at home super simply. Two ingredients that I know you have in your kitchen, in your bathroom, somewhere in your house. You can use this on your face, on your neck, on your chest, on your hands, skin, legs, anywhere you want to use it and it's a natural way to do it. So I like to make a little leftover because sometimes it can get annoying just to keep remaking. So I keep it, I store it and it's amazing. While I'm waiting, I wanted to share with you, I actually created a website. I have some super exciting stuff. I don't want to give it away yet but it's one of the key ingredients that I use in my videos. Leave a comment letting me know what you want to see. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get started on how to get where I am right now. Alright guys, so all you're going to need is something to measure out a tablespoon. A little bit of water. It looks like snow and some baking soda. Mine is a generic brand from Walgreens, so any will do. Now all you're going to need is two teaspoons, so that's four of my half teaspoons, and then one part water. Once you measure out two teaspoons, which for me was four half teaspoons, you then want to add one teaspoon of water. So pretty much you just cut in half what you added of the baking soda. So two parts baking soda, one part water, and it should look something like this. Now just stir until you get a paste. Now it's time to brighten our skin. I like to play some music, put my hair up because it can get a little bit messy and start the whitening process. Just a little tip, it's always best to use a headband and apply it with a brush if you have one. guys so if you're a beginner and have sensitive skin I only recommend leaving it on for a minute but if you've done it before and have high tolerance I recommend going up to 15 minutes before rinsing now I just want to let you guys know it's normal for it to tingle and feel tight and maybe a little uncomfortable so bear with that that's just brightening your skin and helping with all your dark spots or your skin tone in general yeah Also guys, if you're bored during this mask, go to my Instagram, Anita Samantha, and click the link, which is my website. I have tons of fun blog posts and about me section, my shopping section coming soon, so go check it out. It'll mean a lot, and if you sign up for the email notification, I will do a shout out on my channel. All right guys, let's go wash off this mess. It feels like baking soda now. As you can see, 
nothing is coming off but a little excess baking soda so wash our face with warm water and leave me comments below on what DIY beauty videos you want to see next from me if you want to see more dating advice life advice let me know in the comments below all right let's go wash this off this is how it's supposed to look I don't know what this looks like it literally looks like white paint <laughs> Just a reminder, gently wash, do not scrub. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and leave a comment below on any questions you have. And follow me on my social media for extra tips and tricks. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah. Oh, 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 oh,